Hello everyone, good afternoon and happy Sunday. Welcome to World with Tina once again. God bless you. I hope you are enjoying your new year so far. I am. I know that this year is going to be a great year for me and for you in Jesus' name. So the title of my message today is Believers are Salt and Light. You are a salt and a light in the world. So I'm taking my scripture from Matthew chapter 5. I'm going to read from 13 to 16. He said, you are the salt of the earth, but the salt loses its flavor. Sorry. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing, but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. God forbid that that would be our portion. Say, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. I think this scripture itself, you know, it explained itself, it's self-explanatory. So God, Christ is telling us here that we are the salt and we are the light of the world. And he went on to give us example of what salt is. You and I, we know what salt is. Sometimes some, some of us that like salt, that we just want to taste that salt. If you are the salt of the earth, what does that mean? That means everywhere that you find yourself, everywhere that you go, you will make a, a, a kind of mark that people want to see you again. People want to... Be with the kind of person that you are. And he said that we are the light of the world. Hey, you and I, we are the light. God has called you to do something. Now you may be asking, how, how am I supposed to be a light? How am I a light? I mean, I'm going through this. I'm going through that. How can I shine? Yes, dear, you can shine because God has called you to be a light. He said that you are a house, a, 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 a house set on a hill. You know, it cannot be hidden. Your light cannot be hidden. Do you know that in darkness, even the smallest kind of light can shine? Discover, how do you shine? Discover that which God has deposited in you. What is it that God has put in you? What is that thing? Check yourself, search yourself prayerfully. You know, check and see what God has deposited in you. That is the light that you need to shine. I mean, the world is such a dark place. How do we qualify the world as a dark place? Because of all the atrocities, the bad things going on. But you can make a decision. You can make a decision to make someone smile. If that is what you do, trust me, you are a light. And you can make a decision to make someone happy. You can make a decision to give. You can make a decision that even though people are doing it this way, I'm not going to do it this way. Do you know why? Because God has called you to be a light. You can make a decision not to follow the crowd. You can make a decision to please God. You can make a decision to, like the Bible rightly said here in verse 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Underline that place, good works, and glorify your Father in heaven. Think about something this year, 2023. What is it? How do you want to shine? He said that we cannot light a candle and put it under the basket. No, it is not possible. Stop hiding. God wants you to shine your light. Stop hiding. Stop waiting for the microphone. Stop waiting for a big platform. Stop waiting to be ordained because God, he said from your mother's womb before you were born, he said, I already know you and I have already ordained you. God has ordained you. Look for something that you will do for God that will shine your light before men and it will make men to glorify your father in heaven. I'm not talking about what you will do that will just announce you want to become a star. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about what you can do for God before men that will bring light to the world and make the men that will see the light through your light come to Christ and also glorify your Father in heaven. Please make effort. Think about it. There are many ways to discover that which God has called you to do. Search yourself. Pray about it. Let God reveal it to you. Let God direct you. Let God, I pray that the Almighty God will open your eyes so that you will see and then you begin to shine your light. 
begin to shine the light of God in you to the world. 